Hello everyone. I'm Ashutosh. Welcome to this video. The, in this video, we are going to see uh, how to send notifications to the Teams channel using Integration Hub uh, Microsoft Teams Spoke whenever a mid server is down. So whenever a mid server goes down, we should send a notification, email notification as well as a Teams channel notification to the Microsoft Teams uh, uh, service now channel so that people in service now team are aware that okay the mid server went down and you need to take an action uh, on that particular mid server why to do this because there are so many integrations in an organization which are dependent on mid server daily loads your foundation data like user companies cost centers they rely on your mid server then your SCCM integration discovery processes all these things are relied on your uh, mid server okay and um, we also want to know if something goes wrong on the network if there is something wrong with the machine or there are some uh, credentials which are expired or blocked we should be aware of all these things uh, whenever there is some issue with the mid server and if mid server goes down yeah i i know we can have a dashboard and we can keep monitoring it but it is reactive analysis we want something to be proactive we want to be notified as soon as the mid server goes down so for this reason uh, i have created one simple flow using integration hub which will do these things for us without wasting a time i'm going to proceed and show you the flow also i have created an article on it we have explained each and every scenario in detail in this article so you guys can go through this article so this is the flow which I had created. Initially, I created a simple flow like which will only send an email notification to your Outlook. Then I created another case where it will only send the Teams channel notification. But then I thought, okay, let's combine this. So I combined it into one flow and then we are doing it every one minute because ideally this is one minute for testing, but you can always increase it to one hour or two hour. So we know that every one hour, two hour, uh, if the mid server is still not up and it is still not running, then we are going to continuously for every hour or every 10 hours, we are going to send the notification as well as the team's channel notification to service now team so that they can look into it and they can contact the team's channel. Also in future, I'm going to create one more thing here by using integration hub. I am going to put a PowerShell activity here, which will try to restart the server, try to restart the service, server and service, both are different things. We can do it using integration hub and the PowerShell or the SSS activity if you your server is on Linux. Okay, so this is just a start. So let's get started. I have a mid server with me. I have a couple of mid servers. One is our service now uh, mid server, which is always down and this mid server, which is my mid server. What I'm going to do is just to show you guys, I'm going to take this server. I'm going to restart this server. Okay. As soon as I click restart, you will see the mid server is now restarting. Let's go to the execution list of my particular flow. Okay. So we can see that which if the if our flow is attached or not if our flow is triggered or not i can't see anything yet let's wait let's wait i will refresh you can see now there is one flow which is triggered it is waiting and let's go to our emails you can see it is still down as soon as I go to emails, it should show me the email uh, sent. So you can see this is just now and the email has been sent. The mid server is down and you can see it is waiting here for one minute. Now I will show you post a message thing. If I got a message in my team's channel or not here, you guys can see this is my team's channel and at 204, that is the current time I got a message that okay mid server is down this is the mid server you need to uh, you we need your attention please click on the below link so as soon as i click on this link it will take me to the mid server record so it will take me to the my, to my mid server record and now you guys can see this mid server is up right so 
and I have put here condition as do this loop keep sending SMS or sorry keep sending send, uh, emails and the messages in the Teams channel until and unless the mid server is not up and running. So I'm going to reload this. Just, I, I just refreshed. Now you can see it is completed because when it went to this step, it saw that the mid server was up. And if the mid server is up, don't do this again. Just end the flow. And now it has ended the flow. So this is how it works. Now, just to show you guys what condition I have put here, I am going to show. So here you can see that the mid server record here is up. Do this particular until uh, the mid server is up. You can do it every hour every week, every day, whatever you want, it's up to you. And here I'm waiting for four seconds initially, and this time can again be dependent on you. If the mid server goes down, you don't want to send the notification immediately. You can wait for like one hour or two hours before sending the initial notification. And after sending the initial notification, you can also put if condition here to again check after that one hour, if the mid server is up or not. If it is up, don't send the notification directly end the flow. But if it is up, just do this until you are not satisfied or until the mid server is not up or running. So this gives you an additional benefit to do a proactive maintenance of your infrastructure, your mid server infrastructure. And it also provides you the capability to restart the server or the service automatically to trigger the PowerShell automatically. But that we will see in my later videos, how to restart the service or restart the server using PowerShell. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any suggestions, any comments, please post them into the videos or my, uh, community article. I also have my YouTube channel where I'm going to upload this video. So you guys can always put your comments in the video. Thank you so much. See you in my next video.